Hey guys, it's Feb Vlog numero seven, and today I am attempting to pack for skiing. Now it's actually like midnight already. I haven't started a vlog until technically the next day, which is bad, I know, but I've been filming videos all day to try and get some content up for when I'm away because I don't want to leave you guys high and dry with no beauty videos. So my hair is looking kind of crazy um, and my eyes are tired and bleary from editing. But I am going to attempt to pack now because I... It's basically Thursday night right now and tomorrow I am headed to London for some meetings and then we have some friends coming over in the evening so it's going to be super hectic. So I need to try and pack tonight before we go away. Um, so I'm doing that. Yeah. And packing for skiing as well is kind of hard because we're driving. Um, we actually all don't have that much space in the car because there's four of us in one car driving out there. So we need to pack kind of light. So I just thought I would show you what I'm taking with me and kind of packing at the same time. Like I haven't actually organised it all yet. I've just got all my ski gear, ski gear out. So this is what I have so far. So here is my big pile of ski mess. I've got my boot bag which my boots are not in because they're over here on the floor because I was putting them on last night to see if they were still as painful as last year. Um, these boots I actually got, they're my first ever own pair of boots that I bought. We bought them last year, Mike got some as well um, and they are like so tight. I need to like properly break them in. They, they did kind of get better towards the end of last year because we weren't skiing twice last year but um, they're gonna hurt. They're basically, yeah, gonna really hurt. Anyway, so those go in there, and then I'm going to try and fit basically all my ski gear inside here. So I have my helmet here, which a lot of people don't wear helmets when skiing. I always do. I think safety first, guys. I just have... It's a pretty dorky-looking helmet, actually. You guys will see it next week, because um, this is going to be crazy filming, by the way. I'm, like, doing it with one hand. You'll see this next week a lot, because obviously you're going to come skiing with us. But uh, yeah, let me just try it on for you to show you all quite how sexy I look in this helmet. Hell yeah. So that's my helmet. And then I have basically like a hundred black underlayers. So, well, not a hundred, but I like most of my underlayers are black. So I have like this thermal here, which is actually really old. I've had that for a long, long time. Another thermal here, which is my favorite one. This is a really, really nice one from North Face until Mike attempted to iron it. Look, and like burnt it. There's the iron mark. No skills, but these are really good. The North Face thermals are the best. Then I have a fleece. This one's actually new. Um, Mike got some new ski trousers and I bought this because it was pretty cheap for a fleece. Usually ski fleece is like 50 quid. This was 20 quid, I think. Um, and then another thermal, essential, because I get cold. I've got another fleece. This one I've had since I was 14. It's still going strong. It's still soft. Another fleece, like a thicker one to put over the top of that. As you can tell, it's like lots of blacks and greys. And then I just have this random bright purple one because it was on sale. So I got that. Then I've got loads of socks. My ski gloves, which are also from North Face. These are really warm. I've been through loads of ski gloves in the time that I've been skiing. Um, I've been skiing probably like on and off since I was nine. But um, regularly since I was about 15. And I've been through so many cheap gloves I just, it's worth spending a bit of money on your gloves. I think these were like £35 or something. Um, I got them reduced, but they are so much warmer than buying the ones in TK Maxx. Um, everything else I generally get from TK Maxx, but um, North Face leggings, which are like just thermal trousers. These ones I've literally had. I got these in the second year at school, so I was 13, 14. Um, they are baby pink, which are not very attractive, but you put them under your ski trousers. Got a couple of... What are they called? Polar necks. And then this is my ski jacket. Oh, and my goggles are here too. These are just black, plain black goggles. This is my ski jacket, which I really like. Again, this was a TK Maxx purchase. Um, it kind of looks quite racery, but the only problem with this is actually like discolored quite a lot on the front. I've only worn this for two trips, so two weeks basically of wear, and it's discolored quite a lot. And then also because it has like a material on the inside of the sleeves and stuff, it's like bubbled up, I don't know if you guys can see that, kind of annoying, like my last ski jacket lasted for 10 years, so I'm kind of disappointed that this is like one year and it's still getting a bit tired, but that is that, and then I have just plain black ski trousers like that, so I'm going to try and fit most of that, probably without the, the jacket and the trousers, all into my boot bag, and then I'm also taking this bag, now this is like 
not very big, it's like a hold all, but I'm gonna try and fit it all in. Um, I haven't actually like stacked anything up yet. Um, there are the prices for my giveaway, which ended um, yesterday, by the way, so they will be announced soon. They're like sitting there waiting to be sent off. But I need to find other stuff that I want to pack. My skis are like here. If you guys can see, it's pretty dark in here. Um, I want to pack my onesie, but I think it's in the wash. And then, yeah, I mean, I'm just sorting out all my toiletries. I'm trying to think if there's anything exciting that I'm taking with me. Pretty much. Oh, this is quite funny. Because there's actually like three of us girls and then Mike going. I have my um, matching mini wash bag. I love this one because... Um, it's actually the mini outside Selfridges. It's like my favorite car in my favorite shop. I'm pretty sure I've shown this in a video at some point before. I'm actually bringing like a ton of face masks because it's three girls and Mike. And then um, in here I have a load of other stuff like deodorant, um, Bioderma, which I've decanted and then realized that actually you can rub Sharpie off once Bioderma spills on there. Um, my Michael Todd toner, which is I've like decanted a little bit in there because I'm nearly out of that. Taylor Swift, um, Wonderstruck shower gel which I got with the enchanted one struck which I got with um the perfume a while ago I haven't used it yet my molecule one perfume contact lenses are plenty I've got some neurofen in there in case anyone gets a headache and then I have like a ton of eight hour stuff which is an essential for me when I'm skiing so I have the eight hour um SPF 50 which I use on my face, and then I have the original 8 Hour Cream. This is the fragrance-free one because it's a bit stinky, the original one. But um, the, this smells of it, but it's not as strong. Um, the original, like, actual cream, like, greasy stuff like this stinks, the first one. And then um, this is the lip balm, which is almost out, but I thought I may as well take it with me and I'll probably finish it because it's actually really good and it has SPF 15 as well. So it's, like, stocked up on 8 Hour Cream. I have the Taylor Swift Body Lotion as well in there. Miniature toothpaste, miniature hand cream, yeah, hand cream because you get dry hand skiing. Oh, there's another face mask. That's all that's in there. And then I also have like a few makeup things put to one side. Um, I haven't finished packing this yet. I've just been, every time I've used something in the last couple of days, or like dug up um, waterproof stuff. So I have my Lancome Star Mascara. How amazing is this packaging? Can I just say like, it's like glitter central. It's absolutely amazing. And this is such a good mascara. It's by far the best Lancome mascara I've ever tried. Um, I've tried the Hypnose Drama, which I didn't like. And then I tried the Hypnose Doll Eyes, which I did like. This one is even better than both of them. So, so good. I have a Clarins Beauty Flash Balm, which I've only just got into. I had this when I was like, 15 or 16 I got given a sample for free and I thought it was great at the time but I never really repurchased it but um I've been using it again as a primer it's really good I have a little eye drop thing because I tend to get really dry eyes and then I have my Shiseido sun protection foundation um this is waterproof I mean I probably won't wear foundation like every single day when I'm skiing but if I do it's good to have waterproof stuff then I have my concealer by collection 2000 which again is really long lasting it's not waterproof but um I do actually have a waterproof I have my Makeup Forever Waterproof Concealer, but um, it's actually a little dark for me at the moment because I'm quite pale. Amazonian Clay um, by Tarte Blush, which, again, really long-wearing product, which is what you need when you're skiing, really. Um, if you're going to wear makeup at all, you need stuff that stays on because if you get snowed on or whatever. And then I'm actually taking this mascara, the Fairy Drops one, which I don't really like, but... For skiing, I think it'll be really good because it won't smudge, um, even if it does pull all my eyelashes out, I'll try to take it off. Um, I have my eyelash curler, and then I have my Corez Mango Lip Butter, which is probably like not really for wearing in the day, because do they have SPF? They probably do, actually. Maybe not, it doesn't say. Um, and then, yeah, and then some tweezers. So I need a bit more makeup in there, but that's just kind of like a work in progress. And that's as far as I've got with my packing, really. Um, I need to finish it off now, pack it all up, and then head to bed, because like I said, it's already midnight, and I am tired, because I've got to get up super early tomorrow. Um, I've got to head to London for a meeting first thing, and then I'm heading back. Then I am actually trying to squeeze in a personal training session. I don't know where Mike is, I thought he was in there. Um, and then... I am coming back and we have people around for dinner, like I said. Here he is. Are you working? Yeah. As per usual. Um, yeah, so I'm going to say goodnight for tonight. Here is Mike. Hello. He smells nice. Mm. Good you smell me. very nice. Um, yeah, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.